KISW. EJ, we're very excited to have our next guest on on the show as we loved watching Almost Live, and I love what he wrote on his webpage. You may be watching reruns of the same show these days on Channel 5, Saturdays at 1 a.m., right after Saturday Night Live. Chances are... You're getting really high. Please welcome to the show, John Keister. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, whole new viewership, by the way. Whole new. Just turns over all the time. There are a lot of people who think the show is actually on, still on the air. And oh, yeah. And I'll get these, you know, because we keep talking about the same things that we were talking about 10 years ago. You know, it's just. <laughs> it's so true. The viaduct, the tunnel, the, tr- the bridge. What we, and, you know, I, I got so people true. coming. Here's what you ought to do. And I, dude, we've not been on the air for 10 years. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <Kingdom>. what? <laughs> yeah. I was watching a recent one. It was you talking about the Seahawks potentially leaving Seattle. I was like, yes. God, this is like a time capsule. Yeah. You know, yeah. to be able to go back in time to remember that, oh, yeah, there was once a time where our beloved Seahawks were one foot out the door. Every one of our teams yes. has been. Yeah, you know, that's true. You know, Mariners, too. Of, yeah. And now, who do we root for? I don't, I don't get it. You know, I mean, with this Oklahoma, th- I don't know. It's like... It's like the choice between rooting for the guy who beat you up every day or the guy who slept with your girlfriend. I mean, you know, who, who are we rooting for? It is so true. Yeah. I, uh, oh, it, and it's it, sad. You know, it is sad. John, and I talk about it because uh, and you and I spoke off air, of course. You know, when I first moved here, uh, you know, the John Report with Bob started. I had right, never really, yeah. I had never watched Almost Live when it was on. I had only, it only started watching reruns because everybody told me about it and said, look, this is a great show. I had remember seeing it on Comedy Central. Right. We so, for, uh-huh. so yeah. So I'd seen that when I wasn't living here, um, you, you know. And the thing is, is that you've been here your whole life. It, it seems like just this town doesn't care that much about sports as a whole. I mean, the people that go care, but when you take a look at other cities where they, you can tell the majority of those folks that they really do care. But right. Seattle, they don't. Uh, you've lived here your whole life. Is that a sad thing to you, or do you think, hey, look, it's just how we are? I, <clears throat> I, we are fair weather fans. I will give you that. But when. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, I, people care about the Huskies. Let me just put it yeah. that way. People yeah. do care about the Huskies. And, and there's, a, there's an immensity of like, you know, oh, like when the Huskies had that, that season three years ago when they lost every Every game, yeah, you know, and they lost to Devry. I mean, they lost to everybody. You know, it's like <laughs> people were like, "Oh," man. but th- there's, but there's no, you know, there's discomfort in knowing that they're never going anywhere. You know, and but I will say for some, for people, most of the city, I would say the majority of the city wasn't here when the Sonics won the only, well, other than the storm. Sorry, yeah. uh, other than yeah. the storm, right. <laughs> Uh, the only actual, you know, big league championship. You, this city was insane. It was so. It was one of the high points of this city. I mean, people were. That's were the sad. Nuts. That is the sad thing to me because you could understand the Mariners and the Seahawks. Not a lot until the Seahawks went to the Super Bowl. There wasn't a lot to really put, hang your hat on for glory. But the Sonics did have glory. Yes, <laughs> they did. Yeah, and that's what surprised me. Like, how do you let this team go? The other two, you almost could understand. Yeah, but the Sonics had more history, and they actually did something. I know. God. Gosh, about eight things had to line up just the wrong way, you know, and it was like, hey, we already did build you the big thing, you know, and no, it's not big enough. You know, I mean, it's like it was the first, you know, renovation of a place. And and people were just like, I'm sorry, we're not going to that trough again. I mean, if you remember the vote for the uh, 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 Mariner Stadium was the same vote that we had for the monorail. Yeah. And what the, the, the end of that vote was, shall we build the monorail? Yes. Shall we build the baseball stadium? No. So what happens? <laughs> I mean, that's the way this city is. You I can know. really sum it up that way. It is. That's, <laughs> that's the way the city is. It, it, it's very, very bizarre. And, you know, John, it is a little weird because you said, you know, at the time, a lot of people who are here now weren't here for the, the Sonics. And this is the, a bizarre part about this city because more than uh, at least half, if not more than half, the people who live here now weren't born here. Yes. So there is this battle between the folks that remember, and it, it was more of a small town feel, and then the folks yeah, that are here going, more. hey, this is a big city, figure it out, and I don't think this city knows what to be. I think that's very true, yeah. I mean, you talk about uh, a few years ago, the WTO, when we had the riots here, Yeah, it's because uh, the police just, oh, we can go talk to these, you know, we can we can talk to these folks and just explain. <laughs> I mean, they were thinking in that old Seattle kind of way, you know, mm-hmm. which, by the way, you know, and then our city gets destroyed, and then when they do the investigation, it's always, because I, I saw in the paper today that it's like, there's going to be new passport office so and it's all about it's all about that border with canada that you know it's yeah. hard to get back into the your own country like 
You know, I grew up in a day where we used to use Canadian money in Seattle. And I don't know. I mean, that probably would be hard for you to believe. But, I mean, we would use. Really? Yes. It was very common to use Canadian wow. money in Seattle. And it was just, you'd go across the border and eh, it was no big deal, you know. And they'd just, oh, hi. And they'd just wave you on. And now it's like it's hard to get back in your own country. But when they look, right, at, like, who did the damage at the WTO, it's always hippies from Eugene, right? Yeah. It's always people yeah. who torches the research labs. It's always like hippies from Eugene. You know, these are people who aren't even allowed to pump their own gas, right? <laughs> and they're the ones that come up and I, you know, my feeling is we're looking at the wrong border. It's like, you know, <laughs> don't worry about the Canucks, watch the Ducks. That's my, you know, that's my oh, slogan. Don't do it because that, that, that big bridge I go over, the Columbia, yeah, that, I, I, I don't want to have to stop there now, John. No, no. <laughs> if you go down in Astoria, there's a lot of you just it's just that that huge mm. long bridge it's just pay, yeah. paved with very surprised seagulls they're like you know <laughs> cruising along and then whoop, you know like that whoop. it's just i mean that's what you say they're like oh, oh, okay it's no problem and that's there's, awesome there's a truck okay <laughs> And uh, John Keister, of course, is going to be with us at the Comedy Riot. Lisa Lampanelli, Chris Hardwick. Yeah, and, very uh, excited. Our own Mono Nick is opening the show. And uh, do, do we want to... We should bring Mono Nick in. You know, last, uh, <laughs> last year, of course, you know, those guys, you know, Jim Norton and all those guys just, just destroyed him. You think John will be a little nicer? I, I, is that what you're hoping? I think they were nice enough to him. So all I think, right. I mean, because we got See, Mono Nick, he's trying he's, to become a comedian. He's, oh, yeah, he's an right. aspiring comic. And he, right. he's opening. He's going to get he like two minutes. A, he hasn't done a single open mic or anything along oh, those lines. He likes to write jokes, though. All right. Okay. Okay, well, that's uh, this is a good starting point then, I guess. Yeah. yeah. The <laughs> Paramount. You know, you can't get, you know. John, bigger, you know. I am opposed to this, but unfortunately, <laughs> because of social networking, ah. the people get to speak where I don't think they should have as much of an opinion as no, they should I, have. No, I completely agree. But unfortunately, uh, the powers that be, uh, and I don't know if it's a joke on me, say Nick should open because well, the, 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 Twitter po- the Twitter people have spoken. Yeah, they had their own hashtag, let Nick they, open. Yeah. Okay. That's how, have, it's, that's how it's done today, John. I know. I know. I don't understand it. I don't have. <laughs> I, know. I don't have a Twitter. I don't have the thing or whatever. The thing. Know. I don't, whatever. I don't text and then walk off a bridge. You know, I don't do that. <laughs> That's great. So, um, and, and before we get to Nick, I do want to say, because you were talking about the WTO, and I got to give you a plug. If you go to almostjohnkeister.com, you'll see that John has some of his favorite pieces that he's yeah, done from Almost Live, guys. as well as uh, from the John Report with Bob. And yeah. there actually was a great piece you did on the WTO uh, that you guys did for as a bit. Uh, we did, and I actually. Uh, I, I think people should see it because it's a fun piece about how, how Seattle does handle things. Yes, and um, I have been stopped for the last 10 years just at random by, usually by bicycle cops, and they tell me that they use that uh, in training. In really? The Seattle Police Department oh, that's awesome. say that they show that film <laughs> and that they, they uh, yeah. It's, uh, oh, they, that's not a very uh, complimentary <laughs> film of how things are handled. No, it's not. But wow. they uh, they have told me that uh, they show that film in training and that they that the uh, uh, the police department really love the rank and file. That is, yeah. <laughs> really enjoy that film. It was a. Uh, uh, a friend of mine who worked on the staff, his brother was uh, an officer, and we got the riot, the actual real riot gear. Oh, you did? Yeah, which apparently you're really not supposed to do. Oh, boy. And we were out on the street, and some police pulled up like, what are you doing? You know, like, it's like, uh, when you wear that, we have to come to your assistance. And we're like, oh, my God. You know, we didn't know that. And then they look, and they go like, oh, it's you. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So uh, John Keister will be with us. Uh, you can get those ST, the tickets at stgpresents.org. It's this Friday at the Paramount. Lisa Lampanelli, Chris Harwick, John Keister, and yes, Mono Nick. And right. uh, okay. he... Um, He's uh, he's been working on some jokes and he's and, and he 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 just use any type of coaching at all. And okay. I, yeah. I, and John, I would say this: be as honest as you want yeah. because right. okay. I don't even want this to happen. So if if, if, we right. can, if we can beat down his esteem, maybe he won't. You know what I mean? Maybe he won't to self esteem. Maybe he won't even go on. Well, okay, I'll do my best. As you can tell, there's a lot of support in this room for me. Yeah. A I'm lot of excited. love. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling the love. Yeah. All right. Let's try this one out. A father and son were arrested the other day for dealing meth in Kentucky. Well, I'm wondering what all the bad press is about, because it's just nice to hear about a family spending quality time together. <laughs> okay. I, I'm okay with that. You know, um, I think, you know, 
Check that out, BJ. For the uh, you know for the for the subject that you're going for, I think yeah. you're hitting just the right mental you know just sort of you know the right the right John. range. There. <laughs> did you yeah. ever did you ever think that Stephen Wright could sound even higher? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that is what I get with him. It's like Stephen Wright yeah. after he's been baked even yeah. too much. Yeah, that's not meth talking. No, no that's no. not. That's something in something else entirely. <laughs> I'm the guy on the couch. All right, so okay. you know what? That's a John. John knows his okay. stuff. That's not a bad comment. That's not. That's not bad. That's All a right. keeper then for the Paramount. Okay. Okay, let's try this one then. I was at the store yesterday, and some little black girl came up and asked me where she could find a black Barbie doll. So I whipped out my iPhone and showed her a Nicki Minaj music video. Oh, yeah. you'll, no- you'll notice I'm not saying anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, on so many right, levels, so one for two, one for two. All right. So many levels that is, just, yeah. Don't, don't. What? Hi. That's not right. I mean, it was a rock crowd. I don't think anyone really knows who Nicki Minaj is. Yeah. And I, I, All right. She looks like she's made of plastic. Sorry. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, okay. Yeah. My bad. You know, uh, right. I, maybe you want to use African American. You know, that would be nice. Okay. It just, so just, just a, you know. I thought it was okay since I have a half African American niece. No, it's not okay. okay. <laughs> okay. By the way, it's not, I don't think it's, it's not okay. I don't think it's okay that you have a niece that you get to interact with. By the way, I don't think <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, okay I, either. It's it's not okay. <laughs> All right, let's do one God more. God help us. This is getting better. God help us. Come please. on, Nick. Come out strong. Well, this weekend I bought my friend who has OCD a picture of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. He's been going crazy ever since, just trying to hang it straight. <laughs> Top shelf. What are you laughing for? I, you, I mean, come on, that's pretty good. That's yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean a, <laughs> the mental picture, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, the delivery really fits the material. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of, you know, that, I, I, I will give you that. You know, I appreciate. Guys, okay, sort of got an alternative. Oh, you know, he, he's got an alternative. Yeah, you know, he buzz surely going, does. You know? All right, all right. Thanks, John. Hey, one for three would get you. <laughs> Thanks, John. You're welcome. Yeah. You know what? You really, you really helped a young man out there. Look at him. There he goes. Okay. There he goes All off right. in comedy glory. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.